this week on Alaska Outdoors, hauling in halibut from the Gulf of Alaska. Flight seeing, where only eagles dare. And an unexpected visit with the elusive killer whale. Look at that. Look at that. Heading south from Anchorage and onto the rugged Kenai Peninsula, you'll find a seacoast town called Seward. It sports the title of the fun capital of Alaska. A glimpse of the harbor leaves little doubt about local interests. The town revolves around Neptune's kingdom, the sea. Top among the challenges offered to local fishermen is an opportunity to do battle with a heavyweight champ of the north, the Pacific halibut. The halibut in the Seward area are all over the place. It's hard to tell exactly where you're going to find them, but they dress out about 80 to 85 percent weight and it's absolutely the best eating fish I've ever had. Wayne Bond has a love-hate relationship with big halibut. He loves to catch them, yet hates to fish for them alone due to their tremendous size. So with the help of novice halibut angler Brad Miller, plans have been made for a tidal bout. The challenge has been taken. Dwarfed by the majestic slopes of the Kenai Mountains, the challengers knife across Resurrection Bay to a halibut hotspot off Barwell Island in the Gulf of Alaska. Two hours later, Wayne reveals his strategy. See that kind of hook right there? Yeah. I don't see how a fish can get on it. I kid never figured out either, but I talked to a commercial fisherman one time, said his fish catch went up 50%. Using that, they just can't, they get on and just can't get off, huh? That's right, and I don't know how it's harder to bait them, but boy, they sure hook them. And the other day, living huh? proof. How do they get their mouth around that thing? I can't figure it out. But we'll try it here. Well, hey, I'm going to put a herring on there, and I'm going to catch that 80-pounder or however. I'm going to drop this one down. The word halibut yeah, is of Scandinavian origin and means fish that, that are found in deep holes. Deep they here? can be found as deep as 3,600 feet. However, most sport fishing is done in only 150 to 300 feet of water. Okay, well, let him mess around with a little while. There you go. Hey, there we, we got go. it set. Whoa! He just took off with it. I don't think it's a big one. Well, it doesn't look like it's real small. Jeez. Can we feel it and see how big yeah. it is? see what you think. It's a little bigger than that last one. Really? So it's what? Yeah, I'd say it's 10. Right at 10 pounds. The guy I went out with wore the most incredible hat. You better take that hat off when you gaff them. You're going to scare the fish away. If I take that hat off, you might not catch another fish. <laughs> I'm leaving on. Big one. Save if her, if I bring them over to you, can you get them off without the net? Yeah, I think so. Let's, let's okay. save these little ones. From we go out halibut fishing, okay, bring and they bring up this ugly thing please. that's dark on one side and pure white on the other side. And uh, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that I ate one of those things. <laughs> You know, the only way I'd ever had halibut before was in fish and chips or some way like that. And I can't believe, I don't know if I'll eat it again. It's good stuff, I'll tell you. They're ugly. They've got those two little beady eyes on the top that just go around. And uh, I don't know. They're ugly, but they're good. See those teeth in that doggone mouth? Yeah. You ever been bit by one of those? I can still show you the scars from three weeks ago. Is that right? I got a 30 pounder just clamped down and wouldn't turn loose. A spunky challenger, but not the champion. Nevertheless, it was a good oh, test yeah. of man and equipment. Let me have that hook. Look at that thing. That is incredible. That little thing. Make sure you get that swivel snapped in real good. This time I'm getting down before you do. <laughs> <laughs> Won't make a bit of difference, you want to bet. We're crossing that hole where that 100-pounder's at. You know, I fish for a lot of fish. I fish for silver salmon. I and I enjoy it. It's a lot of action. But something about catching a halibut is bringing a fish up that you don't, you really don't know what size it is till you reaches the surface. That is a big fish. However, miscalculating the strategy of a fight-wise halibut can result in a very short battle, lost fish, and generally a tangle of lines that make for very poor eating. The halibut has won round two. Out in the bay, there are quite a few whale and porpoise. 
yesterday we ran across the school of uh, killer whale. Look at this, Wayne. Holy mackerel. There were four. It looked to me like there was a big old papa and a mama and two younger ones. And it, we were able to follow him for up two hours. Had him within 15 foot of the boat. They were just kind of playing around, basking in the sun, rolling in the water. They're so big until you see them. God, there he is. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to get a fish and see if I can eat them. I'll fall in and they'll eat me. You're the best food they ever had. <laughs> you know it, baby. I went up and got a couple bait fish and threw them in, and the big bull went right down and took that thing right out of the water. It was amazing. There he goes. He's getting it. Look at that. Sure enough. Look at that. He went after it. We got to catch him. <laughs> you guys throw it on our fishing bait or what? <laughs> wait till he... Now wait, wait. Don't throw it until they're looking at it. You can catch him. And I got a call from a friend on another boat. It said it, apparently a person had a very large fish on, so we moseyed over that way. And I'll tell you if that wasn't the darndest scene. How big you think it is, Colin? Big halibut are often referred to as barn doors, a term that literally describes the size of the fish. Females can reach weights of 500 pounds and measure over 9 feet in length. Wayne. Man, I, why can't we catch any like that? <laughs> What's our well, problem? <laughs> We've been out all day. At least we caught more, but we didn't catch the mostest. You can feel him turn. He just, ro he just rolls yeah, over. Yeah, he just pulled his tail up. He's going down. And when you see that lunker laying there, and then you know the work starts. And you're worried about breaking your line. You're worried about this happening or that happening. Or you're worried about him just making yeah, another run. And a 150-pound halibut has enough strength to never stop if he wants. 200, you think, huh? He's just, oh, yeah. he just hanging there. He's, He's four feet across. He's massive. Is that right? He's looking bigger all the time. Oh. There, there's the lead. Anticipating what the champ will look like is the thrill of the fight in halibut fishing, even when the dark silhouette of a large fish can be seen planing up through the depths, being able to have enough strength to bring it to the boat is another matter altogether. What may seem to be a subdued halibut is in actuality a master of deceit. Even after they've been shot and gaffed, their muscular tail and body can still yield enough power to sink boats, break legs, or pull a group of men overboard at the flip of a tail. Yet once in a while, angler strategy wins out over the brute strength of this heavyweight slugger. Indeed, to win a battle against such odds, against such an opponent, is an accomplishment to be truly proud of. I think he's, he's probably, you probably got him pretty doggone tired by now. He's got you tired, <laughs> it sure looks like. <laughs> then finally we saw that 150 pounder come up and I couldn't believe it. Those guys were pulling that thing up and I thought it was never gonna end. That thing was over six feet tall. Okay. I couldn't believe it. It was like it was like honestly like a monster or something like that. I can just see how it can get in your blood when once you catch something like that, you've just got to go for more and more. Hey Wayne, when's our turn? <laughs> Don't you be catching any while I'm baiting up my hook here. Put this last piece on. Look at that. Got the head and the side on there. Well, I really don't care. I'll tell you what, if one bites, I'm going to take him whether you're baiting or not. <laughs> Is this where you drop the <laughs> Yep. Right here. Oops, I think I'm no, going to... No, no. Sure enough, Don't too. you dare. Let me just give him a little extra line here. I bet you I can hook one. Oh, going for there it. He you got him? You got him? <laughs> you dirty dog. 
Where's that gap? Well, I'll tell you what, he feels like he's going to make about 30 pounds. Okay, well, between, I got... Somewhere between 25 and 30. I got the gap hooked here, so... Whenever you're ready, I can't I believe made... it. I'm baiting my hook and you're fishing and catch one. Get him on all the way. Look at that. Holy oh. Chicken halibuts weigh between 5 and 20, 25 that. pounds. Boy, it's beautiful. Usually, you, if you get into a hole of chicken halibut, you can catch five or ten of them in half an hour. Take a look at the other side. Isn't that weird how the two eyes? Can't believe it. Huge. I gotta get him down. Too heavy. Well, I tell you, it's uh, not quite as big as uh, those other guys, but it'll do, huh? More than do. <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe that hat of yours is lucky after all. <laughs> there you go. It's uglier than sin, but I think I'm going to go out and buy one if it catches That's fish like that. Need.